Hello there, YouTubers. Just a nice night for a, a fire. I didn't do a video today because I was doing so much work on so many things that were short, and now the wind's coming this way. I got to move back. A little fire. We are going to have a um, few people over tonight, have some chairs, grandkids, I guess, and one daughter. Already did the leaves here, so I'm not too worried about that. Just kind of a this is kind of be a, a follow-up maybe video. If you can see the roof down there, I got the leaves blowed, leaves blowed off of that today. Sawed some wood yesterday. I think that might have been on a video last night. I'm, I'm not sure where I'm at on videos. So we're gonna go down to the number one mill. So windy that I, I didn't I don't think I could have got a video in anyway today it's still kind of breezy here don't know whether you can hear me or not most of the time when I'm driving this though I think you can hear it hear me oh I did another load of leaves today did them back at the other old sawmill they just they were just too deep and you can see the trail where I drove around we'll um uh, I haven't taken them out yet. That's number, that's 12 loads now. I got, uh, <laughs> old senile is what I got. I, uh, made those blocks yesterday. I saw the blocks and I screwed that up. Pretty, pretty, uh, st stupid sawing. And then I did uh, a couple other things that were just as bad, getting senile. That's what it looks like. I, I don't know if that's where I want it. This, this board isn't straight enough to... Uh, oh, you know, I forgot. I already forgot. I just put this in the back of the Kubota. Kind of which where I'm going here so I don't fall down. Let me get my level. I want it to be a little bit lower. Uh, level and straight edge. You guys getting seasick yet? This is a big step for an old man. I think at this this short of a distance. Yeah, see it's a little bit little bit lower, which is kind of what I want. I put the uh try and do this with one hand. Of course, this thing, this thing bows and bends, but you can see um, this. A, that's a little. I guess that means that's higher there, right? So this is lower. So if I bring this end up, so that's about where where I want. If I set that there and put that on some of these, if the if the rollers are right, so that that should be. Eh, it's probably a. Yeah, it might be a half inch. I don't know. It is what it is, and that's what it's going to be, and I'll try it out. But I'm still not uh, real happy with this part here. This part here. I guess I'm not. I'm looking. So I think I'm going to make a, a ramp down here. So if it does go down, it'll come up here and won't hit that. That's the problem. It kept, the boards kept hitting that. Have that. Then... Uh, being the dummy that I am, I cut the I cut this telephone telephone pole pole that I think I said I was going to tell you to cut it, and it cut out pretty good, but then I cut one too short. That gone. That was that was pretty stupid, but then I managed to do it again. Down here, this one's an inch too short, but I don't think it's going to matter if this if this comes in an inch. It'll still be on here, and this this short one here will be. In between so I don't think it's going to make any difference well one of these here oh uh, I think this must might be the oddball I got out of the stick that I cut last night 12 it was 12 6 and these are 24 inches um, and I cut two of them short so I needed one extra one so I cut another board and now I'll go back here and show you what I screwed up back there not that it really doesn't make a diff any difference in the long run of of anything so we'll go back there. 
Oh, I got the leaves off. We'll stop at the uh, other barn, the Jeep barn, because I got the uh, leaves off of that. If this doesn't turn out too long, I'll put another, another one so I have two movies that add up. Oh, I had the wood splitter out a little bit today looking for that gas leak when Wayne, Wild Wayne was up here. But it's getting, it's getting late and like I said, we're having the grandkids over. Um, so I'm not going to saw this log. I think the blade went wobble because the sun was halfway on it yesterday. I don't know. It's just going to have to take time to seat itself in. Can you see how can you see how deep they are? That's probably four foot of leaves in this spot. Now, one guy says, well, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Get a hose and get a you know vacuum. Well, I got the vacuum system on that uh, track vac. But by the time I get the hose long enough to get all the way to the back there, it's gonna cost me almost a thousand dollars. So it, it's just not, you know once a year I'll just rake them out sometimes manually is how you got to do things and it pile on this side is pretty deep too you can kind of catch them down in there as long as they don't get wet you're all right I'm gonna might start working on them tomorrow <coughs> I did vacuum up a load back here because you can see how you can see where I haven't been how deep the leaves get. There's probably six inches of leaves there. These are all smashed down here. And it's windy, they're getting blown up. It, like I said, it, it gets a little easier to do as you get the, the main part of them out of there. So here's uh, what we, what I'll show you what I screwed up and what I'm gonna do and that kind of stuff. Now wind's, wind's picking up. I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear this or not. What I screwed up with is when I cut this, this is that board that I cut those two inch things off of. I cut right through the heart on the second cut. See I needed another one and that was a stupid move. See if you can see that right there. That was a stupid Sawyer goof. I, so I'm going to face this side here and cut another two inch one off of that and then have another two inch one, I think. And there's a, uh, another two inch one down there. Um, but that's, that's the other half of, well that's the one, the one that I got, uh, can't think what I'm thinking of. See, it's, it's all messed up, stink bug and all. That's, that's pretty crappy board. Um, here's some. I got most of all this stuff cleaned up, and that's one of those pieces of uh, uh, spalted, uh, I think it's got some ambrosia worms in it too, I'm not sure. Anyhow, so I'm going to cut that off now on this, on these 4x4s, or 4x4s, on this thing here, I'm going to cut it in half where that orange crown is, and this is going to be the base for my blower for the other sawmill. So that's, I need three of those. So there's two there and then one over there and I'll cut them to five foot lengths. <clears throat> and so I'll bring you in for tomorrow for the sawing of that and getting another board out of that. Probably sawing these in half so I can roll these up and then sawing these on the sawmill for a guy. He just wants one by sixes for fence posts. So that shouldn't be uh, too bad. And making that five foot because I need a base for um, a base for that blower so that's where we're at um, I can't think of too much too much more that's going on other than that um, look at that board though I think it, that's uh, 12 and a half feet long and there's not a not a knot in it 
Isn't that something else, isn't it? Some good looking wood. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I think the saw blade um, got goofy wobbly because the sun was on it halfway. And it's like half of it was hot and half of it, you can't saw with a hot saw and I think half of it got hot. So I think that was the problem with that. I don't know, I think it's just gonna have to sit in, seat itself in. The bearing's still a little bit warm. Those bearings are pressed in there, so it might take a little while for those bearings to want to push themselves out with the force of the saw blade going around. Anyhow, that's what it is. If I can find a 20-minute a movie, old 20-minute movie, I'll throw that on also with this thing. So you got a total of 30 minutes. You just got to remember to go cook your popcorn in between the first movie and the second movie. So we'll see you later. I'm glad you stopped by. And... We'll have a saw on one again tomorrow night, but then I, I might might be running out of saw on, so I'm not sure. So thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye now.